Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. I'm Ashwan. I'm right here in the Adek Business School. Uh, it's been uh, nine o'clock here, nine thirty probably, and this is how it looks in the summer. So it's not yet dark. It usually gets dark at around ten p.m. in the night, and the building right behind me is the sports block. So that's where the swimming pool is. That's where a lot of stuff is. There is a gym. There is there's a lot of stuff, but I currently do not have any access to that because. Uh, I do not uh, have my student pass yet, and uh, there are certain things that are under maintenance, uh, like the swimming pool. Uh, so it's pretty much closed as of now. It it would uh, only we would have access only uh, once we get our student pass. So that's going to be uh, after September sixth or seventh. That's what I guess uh, when we'll have the student pass. And uh, today I pretty much plan to show you the whole. Uh, Studio. I'm. I'm actually living in a studio. I'm not going uh, to the court. The courts are on the other end, but I do not really have access to the courts. I'll try if I get if I can show you anything about the courts. But uh, I'll give you a basic overview of how the studio is. And this kind of is the vibe of the college. It's green everywhere. It's really nice. Uh, yeah. Let's pretty much get started. Here you go. Uh, the sports block. And the stairs right next to it. So that's the guest residence, the first one there. So it's told that it's for the faculty who are coming from the other campuses uh, to teach us something here. And they usually sleep in this. I don't think uh, you can actually bring some guests and put them in this. But I heard that it's mostly for the faculty who are coming from abroad. And right next to it, residence C, and then B, and then the A. So, the C. Uh, right now, I have the breakfast here. It's not yet open in the other blocks. They're kind of using uh, them as like storage rooms. The work is still on. So, this is how it looks. Uh, it's closed, as this is uh, a Saturday. I do not have access to the breakfast. Usually the breakfast is served only uh, from Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday. You'll have to cook it for yourself. So there are juices, there are uh, chocos, all that stuff. So I'll I'll do a detailed video on that one day. And 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 here uh, next to the breakfast room is where the twenty campus uh, cabin is. Like you can pop in any time and ask any of your questions that you have. Hi Teddy. Uh, they are not working today, so they are on leave. So there is no one on the campus, and I also heard Sunday is going to be pretty much off. There is there is nothing that will be uh, open on Sundays, is what they said to me till now. And the lights, yeah, they on when some when they sense somebody. Usually, uh, it's kind of sensed in. And then it on like pretty much late because usually people come from A to C, not uh, C to A. So the sensors on the the sensors are uh, on that end, uh, the top. Please, I'll show you that. So it's usually there, and and when it senses people, the lights, boom, is a switch on. And. This is my thing. I actually live in A, and there you could see the beautiful Adek, the C building. I call it like that. I'm not sure what they they call it service building. The management staff lives in that service building, so I do not know what exact name they have for that, but it's just right there. And this is the student residence. It's like not far at all. It's pretty much this. Place. 10 meters, 20 meters, or maybe no, kind of 50 meters kind of stuff. And the residences are like they have five floors, and the one with the window there on the left is my room actually. And uh, let's walk into the residence. This here is the corridor. Usually people uh, sit and smoke here. There is an ashtray. So when it's kind of in the evening or in the cold, people might end up sitting here a lot. Uh, having a cigarette most likely 
uh, at least that's what I heard of. And here there are the lockers. This is like my stuff. A301, this one, this one right here. Yeah. And the name was uh, of the previous ones who stayed in my room. And like this is where uh, the breakfast should be served. But apparently they are currently using it uh, as a storage space. They put a lot of refrigerators as they are renovating the cot kitchen and all. And this is the lobby. And straight away there you see one door that is actually leading us to the cot. I'm not sure if I can go inside but I'll, I'll show you how it works, how the cot works. So it's kind of dark here. So usually there are eight rooms like this and there is a kitchen. I do not have access to this at all. And they all uh, have uh, like you know this one common door in which they can actually lock everything. Like every room is locked if this one door is locked, that kind of stuff for the cot. And studios, these all individual uh, doors are the studios and here uh, we have the laundry so 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 the washing machines and the stuff is all here you have to i guess you'll have to kind of bring your own uh, uh, detergent to put in and you need to pay and then you can actually scan this to get some kind of notifications when it is done and all so yeah that's that's the uh, laundry area pretty much so let's get to my floor i live in the third in the meantime like we have the elevator stuff uh, in the meantime i'll tell you uh, something about my travel i kind of enjoyed it a lot in a way uh, it's really nice uh, experience traveling to France it, it's not overwhelming uh, uh, for me it's not overwhelming at all I enjoyed the travel a lot so if you can speak French in bits and pieces and if you can greet people in French that shall do the job not everyone in France would be able to speak English but uh, it's kind of good like people can understand at least the employees anywhere you find some kind of employees there they can pretty much understand uh, English and they can actually guide you through the guest shows and all so there you go a301 is my room the sticker is gone uh, and the keys yes this is how the lock looks so basically this is the uh, restaurant kind of thing usually if you do not have your key in your hand and when you end up just pushing the uh, like you know just closing the door it might it might get stuck and it might get locked sometimes uh, not for every room but there are still quite a few rooms which which have that kind of issue so it's always suggested to carry your keys outside and lock the room so kind of come there so this is how the room looks so there is kind of lobby here I put my shoes there around and uh, I uh, kind of hang my coat here actually bought these uh, wall hangers uh, from India they're really helpful and right next to it is the main power cabin yeah and uh, and this way uh, I have the the heat water tank here, the hot water tank and there are like that's that's a cabin which I chose to put my used clothes for now and right next to it is the kitchen so this is how it is currently looking so I just bought that milk bottle a couple of days ago and it's it's complete now so I'll, I'll tell you what all I got uh, in this kitchen they gave me the two bowls that you could see and they gave me the two white plates in the back also they gave me this uh, spoon right here and uh, they gave me the that uh, glass glass around that corner 
uh, also let me turn on the light Oops. so they also gave me a couple of things a couple of forks knives uh, another spoon uh, that's what they gave me when I uh, in the kitchen uh, and I bought few knives which I like to use from India and all these the oil I bought it here uh, carried uh, some spices that I use uh, while cooking and those are the two cabins there we have oven right next to it and then there is one more cabin here small one you can put uh, some of the stuff uh, I have some spatula a spoon wooden spoon and then I have this strainer a lot of stuff there and these are the hot plates so basically uh, so this thing is, is is the timer this one you just set it uh, like this is right now on the max uh, usually to turn on the hot plates you need to have that timer on uh, if not on the max at least somewhere and it's like to the like either to the left or right but the heat is pretty much different on the other on the both ends so the light blinks when it is turned on oh, sorry the light uh, kind of gets red when it's uh, when it's turned on and under this you have the freezer thing uh, it's pretty big one for an individual actually I kind of filled it with a lot of stuff for now uh, so I've actually brought a lot of uh, Indian spices uh, ghee uh, I ended up buying cheese here uh, I also bought chicken uh, I also bought some coriander uh, all that stuff uh, ginger garlic uh, I bought a lemon concentrate eggs all that stuff uh, to, the, uh, to the daily needs and there is another cabin here so this is kind of uh, where I put other uh, kitchenware I brought a blender as well uh, all that stuff and some ready to eat foods also rice dal uh, those things uh, and uh, yeah peanuts all that stuff I also have dry foods in that corner and that, that's the whole uh, kitchen uh, right opposite to the kitchen I have this very huge mirror and uh, this thing uh, is a is a washroom uh, so this is how it is there is a very big mirror inside and I put a lot of stuff here there is one table uh, kind of thing like uh, slide and then uh, the sink it's pretty big and then there are two cabins down there so as to like you know I use this storage space as well I put a couple of electric items and extra mat that I brought some clips which I found of no use practically right now and yeah uh, and and there has to be a, uh, uh, a toilet paper holder there but apparently it is not there I, I informed them uh, so currently I brought this product from India and there is one towel hanger there and right next to it here it is this towel dryer and a couple of hooks here and there uh, and also there is the standing shower uh, this is pretty cozy place actually it's very nice and and at every tap so the logic is you have an indication whether whether it is hot water or cold water the anytime you need hot water you just have to rotate the tap and pull it off and you get steaming hot water actually and that's that's the washroom space uh, also bought that apron uh, from India just not to spoil any clothes because it gets pretty expensive to spoil any clothes here in France to buy new ones it's really costly and this is the main room I have uh, did not I uh, did not light it up yet uh, uh, so uh, right behind the door I again put a couple of hangers so to hang my bags so I just can take them off whenever I need and right next to it is the closet my closet is apparently not as good as yours could be because mine is not working properly I can only open one half of it right now 
so i ended up putting one bag out there on the top and then this stuff is all full for now lot of stuff there and then uh, the other the other part of the slider is not working so uh, i would refrain uh, from showing that stuff for you guys and there is one study table right next to it so i got this chair and there is another chair here there are two chairs in the room also there is this very good lighting lamp uh, which i apparently ended up having no bulb with uh, that's also noted so they're going to give me a bulb uh, in some time they also get going to get the closet repaired uh, you know they said that manufacturers are, uh, are having some difficulties and all uh, also bought a thermal uh, which i uh, might end up needing a lot here uh, also this is the main desk so i put a lot of stuff like pretty much the electronic stuff on that uh that desk is still empty i need to fill it in with a lot of uh, plants and all i'll uh, do that in the in the next vlog actually i want to go to that place specifically to get certain type of plants and pots uh also some two big shelves here i put some uh, st stationery out there a couple of uh, syrups the digine and all also all my electronics watches are here and this is like uh the my space like the cozy space it's my, uh, my favorite paintings a few of them are painted by me and i have a friend uh, apparently my relative uh, so she paints a lot and she uh, you know kind of gifted me to uh, like i actually snatched them from her uh, kind of uh, to set this up and there is one more uh, small uh, kind of table there uh, which has one drawer and then this light works pretty well so this is it so this is the light there and also there is another small kind of a thing which you can sit on i usually have my uh, lunch or dinner on that thing uh, opening that that that's a large french window that's very huge uh, there is like this is very huge so oh, actually blocked it in this is a very big french window which you can actually the windows in france are pretty big so you can actually like uh, have a lot of air coming into your room and and here is my bed so i brought the pillow from india uh, i i somehow pushed it in my trolley uh, i brought that blanket from india also the bed sheet Uh, you actually get a mattress and a duvet on top of that so uh, the other things are all mine also uh, i brought this uh, led wires from india i kind of feel that they give me a great vibe i also brought this uh, adapter this is a traveling adapter i thought it'll help me out a lot so i just brought this one and and it's on the led is on it kind of gives me a good vibe so i just put it all there and also brought another adapter which i'll show you right now so this is the one the other adapter that i brought this is my bed this is all there is another window uh, it's just closed for now let me open So it's kind of uh, there is this kind of a film uh, which which kind of blurs the vision from both the ends. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this is apparently what uh, I have on the room for now. Uh, yeah, that's all, guys. Uh, cheers! Uh, I really want to make a lot of videos. I really got great responses from you guys uh, for the first video that I made. I'm really happy for receiving such kind of appreciation from all of you. uh looking forward to see you soon cheers and i uh, want to put this request right ahead but i did not want to mix it up so i kindly request you to drop a comment if you really like the video uh, and also give it a like and do subscribe if you want to receive more kind of more this kind of updates